It's your boy, Nerdy White Guy. Nerdy, nerdy white I'll guy. Put you in a motherfucking coffin, my oh, guy. He's so dope. Nerdy white guy. Nerdy, nerdy white guy. My first got answered, dude. <laughs> this is white, dude. Nerdy white guy. Nerdy, nerdy white guy. We're gonna get this shit started, though. Nerdy gang. Nerdy gang. Nerdy gang. Nerdy gang. What's going down, everybody? Bro. So, I got sent this link, right? And it is anonymous warning us about the coronavirus. Now, this video was taken in February. Just came across my feed, man, from, from, I forget who sent it to me. But I appreciate you, bro. We're going to check it out. Uh, if you guys don't know who anonymous is, they are a hacker group, you know, like on the internet. And they always expose shit. They always expose, like, countries for doing crazy shit. They expose people. Um, and... They're, dude, sometimes they're exactly on point. So, <laughs> I like paying attention to these guys, dude. I've been paying attention to these guys since the internet really became, like, huge. You know, so, like, in, like, the early 2000s, I've been following these guys. So, dude, before we get this started, please smash that subscribe button. Smash that like button. Like, comment, share. All that shit. Let's see what these scary motherfuckers got to say. <laughs> Greetings citizens of the world. This is an important message from Anonymous. The government of China has put the lives of millions of people at risk, and may have already unleashed a deadly pandemic on the world. I'm declaring a public health emergency of international concern over the global outbreak of novel coronavirus. Uh, the U.S. now declaring a public health emergency amid this outbreak of the coronavirus across the globe. It is no secret that the Chinese government actively controls the flow of information going both in and out of their borders. This fact is so well known that we call it the Great Firewall of China. Known as the Great Firewall of China, this censorship engine allows the Chinese government to regulate the internet and protect its citizens from dangerous content. China has also become much more wealthy and influential over the years, which has allowed them to control how events in the country are covered in the rest of the world as well, as we saw with the coverage of the recent protests in Hong Kong. The Great Firewall of China, bro. This is crazy. And here's a caption that says, China state-controlled media has completely ignored coverage of the Hong Kong protests. We all know about those protests going on, man, because they're not happy that they're becoming part of China. <laughs> this is crazy, bro. Let's keep it going. Anonymous. Scaring me, bro. No. The same censorship apparatus in China is working to suppress information about the spread of the deadly coronavirus and the conditions that are being seen inside the quarantined areas. <laughs> Tens of millions of people in the country, possibly even more, have now been quarantined and ordered to not leave the region as fear of the outbreak is spreading. Did you guys see those tents though? Those are the exact tents that we had here. You guys see that doctor on the floor, bro? Let's go. The outbreak is spreading. Oh man, they're fighting them. Bro. But it's obvious that the government waited far too long before taking serious measures to contain the virus. It's a cover up, dude. Even now, the government is That's doing its best to downplay the severity dog. of the situation by controlling the media statements and deleting any information from social media that contradicts their official claims. Official numbers from the Chinese government suggest that there have only been a few deaths and a few hundred confirmed cases, but videos and photo footage that wow. have been sent to Anonymous shows a far different... Those numbers showed a hundred... that was 1.5 million people that had it, for sure. Oh. 
trying to always be covering shit up, dude. What, did they get in trouble for covering something else up? Like, not even that long ago, bro. It was something else just like this. It might have been, like, the bird flu or, or SARS or something like that. Man. This is, this is getting crazy, my dude. Situation unfolding within the quarantine zone. Not a single day off after January 28th. Unable to go home for multiple days in a row, waiting to collect and cremate bodies at any time, day or night. When Yun works for, used to cremate 30 bodies per day, but now they need 100 body bags on a daily basis. Yun said the cremation furnaces are running 24 hours a day, though they may not be burning bodies at all times. Family members aren't allowed to see the bodies either, for fear of the infection spreading. Footage taken from the contaminated. Bro, how pissed off would you be if you couldn't see your family? And it's taken them 24 hours to come get the bodies, bro. And did you guys hear about that dude in Italy whose sister is dead inside the house and they will not pick her up? It's been like five days or a week. They have not picked her up, bro. She's a little dead in the house. There's something... Dude, they're not really... I don't know, man. It feels like they're not... We're not getting all the information about how serious this might be. If all this is true, if all this is facts. That's crazy, son. Let's go. ...zones shows overcrowded hospitals filled with sick and concerned citizens. Well, that's why. And other videos show a significant number of infected people dropping over the street. This is the type of footage that the Chinese government has been desperately trying to wipe from the internet. In fact, some Chinese citizens have even been arrested for spreading information about the virus. This is not unusual behavior for the Chinese government, as a very similar cover-up took place during the SARS outbreak nearly 20 years ago. See, I told you, I knew it. SARS is also a coronavirus, but the new form seems to be more virulent and deadly, even though official statements have suggested otherwise. So let's read these numbers real quick, right? So SARS 2002 was 8,000 cases, 774 deaths, 9.6% fatality rate. And then they say that the coronavirus has affected 9,800, killed 213 at a 2.2% death. So these are just what they're claiming, but it's they're saying that it's actually worse. Like up around the like worse than SARS at a 9.6%, bro. That brings it up to like a 10%. We don't know. We don't know if this is fact. We don't. But if <laughs> this shit is true, bro. It would explain a lot of kind of why our government is trying to get a handle on it so severely. This shit is crazy, bro. H1N1, that was a big one, dude. That one had uh, 1.5 million and almost 300,000 people died from that. That was a 17.4, that H1N1, the, the swine flu. That's crazy. Let's go. It's nuts, man. There are a variety of different reasons for a cover-up of this nature to take place. Perhaps it could be to prevent panic or avoid internationally imposed sanctions or quarantines. But some researchers have been raising questions about the origin of the illness, and suggesting that it could have escaped from a nearby bio lab. I've heard this. In the past few years, a new biolab tasked with studying the most dangerous pathogens on Earth began operating in Wuhan. Really? Really? The lab was officially working with different strains of coronavirus, as well as other deadly illnesses like Ebola, beginning in 2018. This lab is just 20 miles away from the Wuhan seafood market where the first case of the coronavirus is believed to be transmitted. Wow! That's crazy. Since before the lab opened, scientists all over the world were voicing concerns about the potential dangers, 
An article was even published in the science journal Nature in 2017, detailing the plans for the lab and sharing expert opinions about how a dangerous bug could leak from the facility. <laughs> so they basically told us Fact, beforehand. The SARS virus has escaped from high-level containment That's facilities in Beijing up. multiple times. Oddly enough, just three months ago, a simulation of a global coronavirus pandemic illustrated that an outbreak of such an illness could take the lives of 65 million people. What the fuck? It is far too early to tell exactly what is happening at this point, but Anonymous has been receiving tips from all over China about the severity of the outbreak and the cover-up that is taking place behind the scenes. Media call it super fast hospitals. To cope with the overwhelming number of infected patients of the coronavirus, I the Chinese authorities too. built this hospital called Fire God Mountain within 10 days. <laughs> However, what's inside the hospital sparks some suspicion and fear. Chinese citizens question why, why it looks more like a prison than a hospital, yeah, with the no windows shit. sealed off with bars. That's crazy, bro. That looks like a prison, bro. Yeah, the Hua Shenshan Hospital is taken over by the Chinese military, meaning all of the medical staff will be from the military. could become a military secret. The outside won't know it. The internal staff won't disclose it. Because whoever did so could be charged with disclosing military information. That's crazy, man. Possible for the regime to test some kind of new therapies on patients. To bring this important news to the world, we must make enough noise to overcome the Great Firewall of China. We are anonymous. We are legion. We do not forgive. We do not forget. Expect us. Expect us. I am just saying, bro. <laughs> That's nuts, dog. So basically what they're saying is China knew about this like long before they even told anybody. They were they're trying to cover it up. And a lot of people think that it escaped from a lab, you know, this and that. This is all here to say I do not know for sure. All as I know is I have not seen a lot of people dying personally, but it just did get started. So we'll see what happens in a few months, I guess, bro. But this shit, this shit got my blood pressure like rising. That's crazy. Like anonymous always be creeping me out and shit, but this is nuts. It's it's gonna be like the. Uh, Back in the day, like the Spanish influenza or some crazy shit, dog. <laughs> be safe out there. Man, I don't know, bro. But we gonna be here for all of it. <laughs> that shit is blowing my mind. <laughs> Alright, y'all. You enjoy the rest of your day. I'm about to go Google my ass off. Uh, if you guys enjoy this, please smash that subscribe button. Smash the like button. Like, comment, share. All that shit. And I got nothing else for y'all. Nerdy gang, love you guys the mostest. Let's get it, y'all.